I want to talk today about Idea Board and all the different options you have for it. The first thing you're going to need to do is go to the View icon in the upper right. As you can see initially, Idea Board is grayed out. What you're going to need to do is click this gear icon next to Idea Board. Once you click that, you're going to need to title your Idea Board. In this case, let's call it Test. From there, you're going to need to apply changes, which will then enable you to activate this Idea Board view. Once Idea Board is up, you can do several things. So you can have different ideas and people can thumbs up or thumbs down them. Simple enough. You can also create a second idea. And just keep going down the line to create as many ideas as you want. <clears throat> now, the other thing that you can do is you can enable your participants to add ideas themselves. So you can say to them, in title and enter your text here, I want you to type in your own ideas. They can create their own ideas with a couple of different settings. Let's go over those now. So from top to bottom, let's go over the different settings that will allow individuals to contribute their own ideas. The first thing we need to decide is voting options. It's going to be defaulted to up or down, and you can also have no voting so people just see ideas. You can have just people with the ability to like them, or you can have limited ups, limiting the number of ups that people can vote on those uh, different ideas. If you go limited ups, you can limit the number of ups to whatever you need it to, so you can have a max uh, amount of ups. So let's keep it on up and down. You can also show tabs, and those tabs are what you see right here. You have most voted, mine, newest, random, and alphabetical. So those are the different tabs that you've got, and you definitely want to show those, otherwise you won't see any of the ideas. You also have the default tab, which can be any of those ideas. Let's keep it on most voted. You can also have a show breakout tab, and what that means is it's when there's a breakout, it's going to show you all the ideas from that breakout. So let's go ahead and apply changes to that, and I'll go ahead and put myself into a new breakout. And what that'll do is that'll then bring a breakout tab. As you can see, only those ideas that are in my breakout are going to be shown while I'm in a breakout group. Let's go ahead and turn that off and go back to the idea board. Let's turn off the uh, show breakout tab. So you can allow new ideas or not allow new ideas. It's up to you. So let's go ahead and re-put that in. There we go. There's all our ideas again. So uh, let's go back to the options. And as you can see, if you don't allow new ideas, and let's go ahead and apply that, it's grayed out. You can't apply new ideas. It's just going to be a stable idea board. So this is how you allow people to add ideas or not add ideas. One of the ways, by allowing new ideas or not allowing new ideas. Let's go ahead and allow new ideas. So people can see each other's ideas. So when people create ideas, you're going to have to let them see each other's ideas. And you can also show the names of those who submitted ideas. So those are just some different options for idea board. You've got a lot of options you can choose from. And hopefully this will create a way that you can crowdsource the best ideas for your group.